In class the other day, one of the students was asking about the types of heat. Why do we need to know about the types of heat? And I mean, I'm talking about the sensible heat and latent heat. And I was telling him, the refrigeration system is going to absorb heat. Heat, period. What kind of heat is going to absorb both sensible and latent heat? Now, what part of the refrigeration system absorbs the heat? And that's going to be the evaporator. So we're going to have, in the evaporator, we're going to have liquid line coming up like this, going to my metering device, goes into my evaporator, and then it comes back on out through my suction line. Now in here, we're going to have the liquid line bringing refrigerant in. Refrigerant, or the air, is going to come through here through my air handling unit. We're going to have a fan like this. And of course, we're going to have to have our filter right here. And we're going to be blowing air up through here. Now, air is going to be coming in through here. And it's going to be coming at about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, let's say. 75 degrees. And when it comes out, let's say out of the system like this, it's going to come out at about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have 75 minus 55, that gives us a 20 degree delta T. 20 degree delta T coming out. And that's good, that, that's, that's perfect. But here, this refrigerant that's in, this, in the evaporator is gonna be absorbing the heat from the air that's coming in here and putting out colder air like this because we have this delta T, because we have a temperature difference, now we know that that is sensible heat. That sensible heat, because we can sense it, we can feel it. But what about latent heat? Latent heat, we cannot measure with a thermometer. So how do we know that this is absorbing latent heat? Well, it's very simple, because typically, underneath the unit here, what do we have? We're gonna have a drain pan is gonna absorb all of the moisture. When the moisture collects, it comes out comes out through the drain right here. This is showing us that we are absorbing sensible heat. We're changing the state of the moisture that's in the air coming in here and the moisture coming out. It comes in here with a specific amount of humidity goes out with less humidity. So now we see that we're lowering, we're lowering the humidity here, we're lowering the temperature. Because of that, we're absorbing the two types of heat. We're absorbing sensible heat and we're absorbing latent heat. So if we think about it, let's say, and I'm just gonna use this just as an example, but let's say that this coil is supposed to absorb 1,000 BTUs. Now, if it's absorbing 1,000 BTUs, that's the measurement of heat. Is it 1,000 sensible or is it 1,000 latent heat? Well, what tends to happen is when you first start up a unit, let's say you walk into your house or you walk into the building, you start up the unit and it's very humid, it's very warm, and it takes forever to bring the temperature down. But remember, anytime you're talking temperature, we're talking sensible heat. The evaporator is still going to absorb a thousand BTUs, but when you first start it up, it's going to absorb, let's say, for example, 800 BTUs of latent heat, 800. If it's designed to absorb 100, then how much sensible heat is it going to absorb? Well, it's going to be absorbing 200. So this is at first. This is what's happening at first. But then as the unit runs and it runs and it runs, guess what? It's still going to absorb 1,000 BTUs. But the latent heat, it's going to be less. So now let's say this drops down to, let's say, 500 BTUs. Because of that, how much sensible heat are we going to re be removing? 500 like this. You let it run some more. This evaporator has not changed any. It's still the same evaporator and it's still designed to absorb a thousand 
BTUs. But now this will have dropped down to, I don't know, let's say 200 BTUs of latent heat. And now we are here at 800 BTUs of sensible heat. Now what has happened over the past few hours? Well, when we first started up, we had a lot of condensate coming out of here. We had a lot of it coming out. And the temperature here, your delta T, was very low. And that's normal. That's what happens. This is what they call a hot pull down. A hot pull down. We're doing a hot pull down because the air coming in here, let's say it's uh, 85, maybe even 90 degrees coming into the system and is not going out nearly as cold as it should be. Because of that, we're absorbing more latent heat because there's a lot of humidity, very little sensible heat. After it has ran for a while, then what happens? Then we're still doing the same thing. We're still absorbing a thousand BTUs. We have less humidity coming out of the drain here. After it's ran longer, we're still absorbing a thousand BTUs, but now our delta T is to where it's supposed to be. We're having 20 degree delta T. We're cooling the air a lot, but now we're doing much less dehumidifying. Very little condensate coming out of there. So that's one way you can tell if you're absorbing latent heat or sensible heat. That evaporator is always going to do the same amount of work, but the question is which one do you have more of? Humidity or do you need to bring the temperature down more? The evaporator typically, if you notice, is going to bring the humidity down first. Well, I hope this helped. My name is Julio, Aircon Academy. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my page on uh, YouTube, and if you have any questions, please send them to me. If you have any suggestions what videos to make, please send those to me and I'll try to get them online for you. Thank you.